Hey, you. Yeah, you. You like content, don't you? Well, we are going to be waiting a little while, because there's been a lot of delays with movies, TVs, and games, sadly. Surprisingly, a industry that requires a lot of people in close proximity across the world is having a bit of a tough time right now. Seems like a lot of stuff that we were looking forward to is pushed back. Thor, Love and Thunder being one of the casualties. But we'll get there eventually. Yeah, it's a tough, tough time. And all industries are feeling the impacts of this. It's going to be an interesting dry spell, though, for our favorite content. Because there's a lot of stuff right now that was like close to being done, or all the filming and and all that's done, and they just need to finish up the editing. That stuff should continue just fine. But the rest of it, any filming left... Who knows? Who knows? I mean, I've seen a lot of tentative dates set up for rescheduling. The new Thor, for example. Seems like it was pushed back a few months. But, I mean, they can't. you can't really tell for sure yet. You just, you don't know. That's what's tough about all this. And... Besides editing, this is not the type of work that can really be done online. Not really at all. It's very tough, at least to the quality that a lot of movies do it. Which leads us to an interesting situation where homemade content might be all we have for a little while. Obviously, excluding what's already been created. And stuff's going to trickle out for a little bit here. But eventually we'll hit a point where people can't film new stuff. So they're just waiting for things to open back up. And at that point, that's going to be where, you know, YouTube content or Twitch live streams, stuff like that is going to be our main thing of our main uh, factor for new entertainment for a while and what what makes things so challenging uh, I mean this this applies to everything but also the the movie and TV industry is we're not gonna have a you know there's not gonna be a a flip that gets switched and all of a sudden we're back to normal that's just that's just not realistic. What we're looking at is the whole world is going to be operating on vastly different timelines. So even if, say, the U.S. gets good to go, anything that needs to be filmed in Italy, Australia, or what, like, it's totally dependent on those locations as well. And who knows how difficult it's going to be to get approval to do that kind of stuff now it's it's going to be a lot more complicated i'm sure before all of this there was a very set process to getting approved to film in all these locations but now they're going to have to consider until we have a vaccine or a solid medicine they're going to have to consider you know testing everyone or somehow verifying that you know, this movie coming here and filming isn't going to cause a new outbreak or vice versa, that the the crew isn't going to get infected by filming in whatever location. So it's going to add a lot of complexities to an already fairly complex process, which sadly just means things get extended even further. Uh, I'm assuming a lot of the legwork with that can be done while we're locked down. Because 
you know, governments have to be considering this kind of thing. And I'm sure most of them are very eager to reopen to get, you know, the economy moving forward and all that. So hopefully some solid plans get put into place on how to process people to allow them into their country. Because it would be weird to not have any movie releases for an extended period of time. Could you imagine? That would be weird. I guess maybe animated things might be okay for the most part. But besides that, any live action stuff, I I don't know how they would progress. Yeah, the other crazy thing to consider with all of this are concerts and conventions. Those are going to be a huge challenge to reopen because they, by definition, are large groups of people crowded together. That's going to be weird to not have any concerts or any conventions going on for a while. And those things are scheduled so far in advance. It just... It it really makes me wonder how they're going to go about rescheduling them. It just seems like such a complicated process and to have this huge variable and then all of these different things that are getting canceled and moved and they have to work together to kind of figure out who gets what when and they have to do that without knowing when things will actually be open and available to actually use again. Very, very complicated equation to, to kind of work your way through. I am not sure how they're going to do it. There are probably so many variables that need to be considered. And that it's like even within the U.S., like this has to be done on a state by state basis, not to mention worldwide. And any other requirements, or not requirements, but any other shows that people have for, like, concerts, for example. It seems like a lot of those tours will just end up canceled, and then they'll just schedule a new one once things are open. Getting back into the swing of things, it is going to be a challenge. It's going to take a lot of planning, and it we're just going to have to wait on entertainment, which at the end of the day, at the end of the day, not a big deal. It's everyone who loses their jobs or any movies that get canceled or shows that get canceled, unfortunate. But this is the entertainment industry, you know? Uh, and I will put job loss above canceled stuff. I definitely feel for anyone who's dealing with economic hardship right now. But, you know, the entertainment industry, it can wait. We'll be okay waiting for that. You know, I'm, I'm disappointed about some of the stuff getting pushed back. Looking at you, Chris. But at the same time, I have my health. And I have that to be thankful for. And I hope everyone watching this does too. But let me know what you guys think. Do you feel like the movie industry is going to be able to just snap right back and handle this? Um, Or do you you think there's going to be a complex process of getting approved to film in other countries after this? And, I mean, just the transition out of lockdown is going to be a challenge on its own. But, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one.